as we can see the front line now, it's here. Heavy fighting is taking place. Uh, this is Libya, could be one of the richest countries in the world because of the oil. But forces loyal to a very strong man, Khalifa Haftar from the east, they are trying to take over Tripoli, the capital here, which is still under control of forces loyal to the international recognized government. We went in an embed with one of the forces who are loyal to the international recognized government here. As you can hear behind me here, it's the last point to the south of Tripoli where the government forces are trying to advance more from the area which General Khalifa Haftar's forces came from. They were advancing, pushing back Haftar's uh, forces at that day. And they managed to take one of the strategic towns to the south of Tripoli. It was very important step by them to push him back. This car belongs to uh, General Khalifa Haftar forces and was taken by these forces who loyal to the internationally organized government. It was a very, 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 very difficult battle. It was a very difficult time even for us to, to stay long because after, after a few hours of the attack, Haftar forces start using all kinds of missiles. including these kind of guard missiles in a civilian residential areas. And we witnessed some of the civilians leaving the area at that time. This is family's uh, steward. <laughs> Khalifa Haftar was one of uh, Qaddafi's uh, friends and the fear is here in Tripoli and in different parts of the country that he is trying to return to Qaddafi's days and to put himself as a dictator, new dictator uh, of Libya. He accused the government here, the international organized government, of being supported by all kinds of Islamist militias, like the Islamic State and Ansar Sharia and Muslim Brotherhood and others. The front line to the south of Tripoli is, is huge. The attack by Haftar forces is happening alongside a very, very long front. We were embedded when one of the fighter jets arrived quickly and it was clear that it's going to strike the area. Everyone was shot at somewhere at the sky, run every, running everywhere. Quickly, we, 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 we have to take cover. And a few seconds later, the, the, the fighter jet hit very close area where we were. Now, if you see these forces, whether here in Tripoli or at the front line, you will understand directly that they are not a proper army because different uniforms, different uh, weapons, they can do whatever they want. Not just us, the BBC, but lots of other media try to go with uh, Khalifa Haftar's forces. They refuse to give the permission to any kind of media to do so. And so we don't know exactly what's going on on the other side. The only media we have access to is the, the footage which is released by Haftar's media. We cannot verify any of these, but they're keen to show that they, they got a lot of ammunition, weapons, cars, this kind of stuff who, who confirm that they are advancing or they are doing well on the front lines. Without the pressure from the international community, it's impossible for these parties who are fighting since eight years now to stop and start thinking about the future of Libya.